Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. And today we are doing a video on OnePlus 7 Pro. And let's see how is this device even after three years from its launch. Can this device still be used as daily driver in 2022? Let's find it out. OnePlus 7 Pro was the new flagship from OnePlus in 2019, and it was one of the most expensive phone ever during that time. Also, this is still my favorite device till date, even after three years. First of all, it's a huge device with 6.7 inch display, rounded corners, and it feels rock solid on the hands though we had no wireless charging, no headphone jack and no official IP rating. OnePlus 7 Pro was the first phone with 90Hz supporting 1440 pixel OLED panel, completely changing the feel of using any smartphone. And trust me guys, we don't see much of difference between 90Hz and 120Hz but from 60Hz to 90Hz is a huge difference and this thing spoiled many smartphone users. Out of the box, device came with Android 9 which was the purest form of Oxygen OS and by the time of shooting this video, device have already received two major OS upgrades. One was Oxygen OS 10 and second was Oxygen OS 11. OnePlus 7 Pro will get Oxygen OS 12 in the month of May or June 2022. OnePlus 7 Pro first introduced 2K display with the support of 90Hz refresh rate and experience was really good. It was also the first time when OnePlus introduced curved display on OnePlus 7 Pro. We had full screen with no notch or punch hole. Pop-up camera is holding up very well even after 3 years with not even a single time failure. Screen is not that bright like today's flagship but it's pretty bright and OnePlus 7 Pro have a quality AMOLED panel. Again, first OnePlus smartphone which had dual stereo speakers. The speakers are still very loud and had reasonable clarity though initially sound was not well balanced but with all these software updates it's well maintained now. Their haptic vibrator motor was one of the best during that time and it's still way better if we compare it with the few recent smartphones from OnePlus. It's HDR plus certified, it's pretty color accurate with adjustability if you want to make more or less vibrant. This huge screen gives a great experience in watching videos. OnePlus 7 Pro have three cameras which are very good actual sensors, we don't have 2 megapixel macro, mono, which we are seeing in today's smartphones. And those are worse and unnecessary. Just for the sake of numbers, brands keep increasing cameras on their devices. Front facing pop-up camera for me was a great add-on and because of which we don't have any additional cutouts on the display or you can say any distractions on the display. The quality of stock camera is decent for general shots, sometimes blowing out highlights and not saving them with dynamic range. And very little of the image is ever an actual dark or shadow but they still look fine for most of the time you can anytime use google camera and click way better shots OnePlus 7 Pro back camera is capable of recording 4k at 60 fps video with no issues in this video you guys can see the stability and OnePlus 7 Pro also comes with OIS support you can also see the dynamic range on this video on the screen video looks pretty good you guys will also have a better idea about the audio quality. So OnePlus 7 Pro front camera is capable of recording 1080p with only 30 fps. We don't have 60 fps support and 4K support. You guys can see bit of issues with the dynamic range but overall video quality seems to be great. Oxygen OS have always been a great OS. As said earlier, the device came out of the box with Oxygen OS 9 and we also gonna see Oxygen OS 12 pretty soon which would be the last major Android upgrade. In 2021, up to May and June, Oxygen OS 11 for 7 series has less quality update. When OnePlus merged with Oppo, Oxygen OS 11 updates are way better for 7 series since then and soon we'll have Oxygen OS 12 but with Color OS code base. We are hoping to see the first beta of Oxygen OS 12 in the month of April or May. One of the best part of OnePlus 7 is the support of custom rooms. And this is again another reason OnePlus 7 Pro being my favorite device. When we think about custom room development, we have many custom rooms present for this device based on latest Android updates and now most of the custom rooms also support Widevine where we also get to see fully working payment applications. You can easily transform your OnePlus 7 Pro with custom rooms by unlocking the bootloader. Technically OnePlus 7 Pro can get Android 15 custom rooms because it's a favorite device in the room community. The performance of OnePlus 7 Pro in 2019 was really great. No Android phone came close to it, it's top notch, 
it's still a sleeping beast. 855 is not a slosh even in 2022. We have done lot many speed tests with the latest flagships from OnePlus and there we never saw OnePlus Plus 7 Pro struggling to compete with the latest device from OnePlus. All the videos of OnePlus 7 Pro speed test will be given in the description below. Just make sure to watch all the videos and you guys will have a fair idea about the beast performance from this device. People can easily use this device for another 2 years playing games like Battlegrounds, Mobile India and other intense games with higher graphics. This device can still run pretty well. And we can also play PUBG or Battlegrounds Mobile India with 90 FPS. Though OnePlus don't support 90 FPS officially in Battlegrounds Mobile India on Oxygen OS 12 or you can say Oxygen OS 11 also doesn't have the support of that now. But you can easily use simple ADB command to enable 90 FPS on the devices running Oxygen OS 11. Still as said, we have lot many custom rooms present for this device. You can try out any custom room and most of the custom rooms do have support of 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India. Performance of OnePlus 7 Pro is still top notch in 2022. And now talking about the battery backup of OnePlus 7 Pro, this is one area where the OnePlus 7 Pro is slouched in 2022. And it's expected because it's nearly a 3 years old phone and the add-on of 90Hz did affect battery health of OnePlus 7 Pro in longer run. After almost 3 years, my device usually gives around 3.5 hours to 4 hours of screen on time but if you replace the battery, you can easily increase the screen on time and get approximate 5 or even 6 hours of screen on time. The battery cost of OnePlus 7 Pro is approximate 1300 on OnePlus official website. Including labor charges, you might get a battery replaced just for 1500 rupees. Not at all a bad deal. And now coming on to the conclusion, whether or not you should buy OnePlus 7 Pro second hand or not. And here on OnePlus 7 Pro, we have one drawback and that's 5G. So basically, we don't get the support of 5G on OnePlus 7 Pro, but still 5G will take at least another one or two years in India, so you no need to worry about it. Other than this, everything is great about this phone. You can buy any second hand OnePlus 7 Pro around 17 to 20k. You'll get a way better performance, 2k display, best software and value than budget phone around that price range. But before buying, one thing keep in mind to get display checked off OnePlus 7 Pro. Because OnePlus 7 Pro had many issues with the screen burn and many people got replaced their display panels from local dealers. So before buying a second hand OnePlus 7 Pro, just make sure to get display checked from office. Rest everything is good on this phone and still a great device to try out if you haven't. And with no doubt, I can recommend anyone who is looking for a second hand phone within a price range of 15 to 20,000. You won't get such better display on any smartphone within this price range. And as said, you guys can use this device for another one and a half year to two years more. So guys, this was a complete review of OnePlus 7 Pro in 2022. If you still have any kind of questions related to this device, you can anytime drop a comment. As of now, only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to a channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day